Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with another trip to the car boot sale for you today. And I've also got a nice big car boot sale haul for you. I found quite a lot of good stuff down at the boot sale. So I'm very pleased with everything that I've found. I've got loads of exciting things to share with you. We've got some homeware, we've got some random, we've got some clothing, we've got a bit of this and a bit of that. And so I thought we would jump straight in to a look around the stalls at the boot sale. It was a lovely sunny day when I went down there. So it was a really nice atmosphere. Everyone was in a great mood. It was really busy. And yeah, there was loads and loads of stalls, loads of sellers, loads of your kind of classic people just having a good old clear out, which is my favorite kind of stall at the car boot sale because you never know what you might find. So I went down there with some cash with my backpack and the spare bag because sometimes I do come home with rather bulky finds. And in fact, this time, one of the bulkiest finds ever. Very awkward to carry home, but I got it home <laughs> and I'm very pleased with it. So yeah, eyes peeled for any bargains as we browse around the stalls. I know you enjoy a little relaxing look around the boot sale as I do. And you can just sit back, relax, enjoy the music, enjoy browsing the stalls. And I will meet you back here and show you everything that I picked up.
Did anything catch your eye as we were browsing around? Let me show you everything that I bought. So first of all, we have <laughs> the bulky item, which does this. And I'm very excited about this. I've bought a bin at the boot sale. Of all the things to buy, I saw this bin and I thought, oh, that looks nice. I like the color. It looks like a posh bin. And it looks quite new, as in the fact that it had the um, sticker on here. It says household waste. And I think I mentioned it recently, maybe when I was going around B&M, that I'm not a big fan of a pedal bin where you put your foot on a pedal and it lifts the lid up. Just because typically whenever I've kind of had one in the past, it's flipped the bin forward and been just slightly annoying. This one has a little bit that you touch here and the lid pops up like that. And yeah, it looked really nice quality. It's got the kind of secondary layer where you can pop the bin bag in to there. I looked this up and it was, um, what's the brand? It's called Echo, E-K-O. And I looked it up and I saw these on John Lewis and I think they were 45 pounds on there. So the guy wanted, I think he said 10 pounds, but I went back around, I thought, oh my goodness, am I really gonna carry a bin around the boot sale? And I popped back, it was still there. And so, yeah, that was right at the end. So I thought, well, I could just take it home then. Um, and it got a sign on it for eight pounds. And did I offer him a fiver? Yeah, I did. Because I was like, it's a bin. <laughs> so I offered him a fiver and he accepted that. But I think this is quite nice for the little um, gap that I've got in the kitchen. You will know the gap I'm talking about if you've been watching my renovation vlogs. I don't need to describe the gap to you. And yeah, I think the colour's fab because that blue, I feel like I don't want to match the kitchen cupboard in terms of bin colour. And I don't want to go chrome because I've got brass details everywhere now, haven't I? So that blue is kind of perfect because it's not trying to match anything, but it's 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 vibing. It's going to make friends with the cupboards. It's going to make friends with that sage green, minty green and the marble. And you'll fit in nicely, won't you, Echo Bin? So he's delighted. And as for the other one, I think I will keep it, but very specifically, I've got a small rubbish bin in a cupboard and with reconfiguring all the cupboard space and losing top cupboards, I want that cupboard to become a cupboard where you keep stuff and not a bin cupboard. So I will now have a full-sized rubbish bin and my recycling bin, which is the bin that you've seen already in that space, if you've been watching those vlogs. So yeah, very pleased with that. And there's space for both of them because I've got my under counter space as well. But I'm not gonna go into detail about that, he says rambling on about it because that will be in the renovation update. Stay tuned for those and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss any of the stuff that I'm doing around here if you're interested in kind of like the house stuff. So, in oh actually let's get another bulky one out of the way. I spotted this on the floor amongst lots of other stuff. This is a wooden shelf. Have I got it the right way up? Yeah, I was confused for a second then. It's actually got like a, a lip at the top so you can put things in here as well, um, like bottles and stuff. It needs a really good scrub. I think this has been in somebody's kitchen. So it's a tiny bit like on the greasy side. So I'm gonna give it a really good wash down with some um, sugar soap. I've got some of that knocking around. I'll probably put this in the shower to be honest with you and really scrub it. See how it comes up. It might come up quite nicely just from scrubbing it alone. I feel like it might just bleach the wood enough to, how I want it to look. If not, I might give it a coat of paint or would you just leave it wood? I'm not sure. This was only two pounds, so I thought worth a little go. And I was thinking maybe this would go kind of like above where the sink is, but on the right hand side, so next to the window, potentially. I'm not sure, but I thought for two quid, we'll have a play with that. Cause I just like the dimensions. I thought it could look quite interesting. Maybe just with some, I was actually thinking just for glasses if it is positioned near to the sink, but then it's got these bits. So I think normally, would there be spices in there? But it feels quite short. I think you probably could get spices into that section and down here and then a bit of open storage. And there's also some hooks on there, which potentially I could replace with some nicer hooks. So yeah, that could be a fun little upcycle project. When something's two pounds like that, and I'm not sure about it, I just buy it because then if I get it home and you know have a thing, play around, move it around, it's kind of like, just redonate it, it's two quid. So there we go. Any suggestions for that are more than welcome in the comments. Next up, this is actually a little vintage purchase, but I thought I would show you anyway. I bought this for, 
I think it was seven pounds on Vinted, maybe six or seven. And I really liked the print on this, but I also really liked the fabric. It's got quite a lot of texture going on there. It's kind of thick fabric, quite nice for summer. But yeah, it's got kind of like quite a nice structure and thickness to it. And this is a Primark shirt. And the original price on this was £12. And yeah, I think I got it for, it was like £9 including the postage. So not a massive saving, but nice to be able to buy it from Vinted and give it a new home anyway. And I yeah, absolutely love this. I've been admiring similar ones in Primark, but I don't remember seeing this specific one. And I think it's really nice. So yeah, that will definitely be coming on holiday with me this year. I love buying summer clothes when it's still feeling like winter outside. It just puts me in the mood for holidays. <laughs> so next up, oh, we've got loads to get through actually. Next up I spotted, okay, this is very random, a pouch, makeup bag, cosmetics pouch. I'm not sure, but it has potentially my, I think this is my all time favorite Disney character on the front. And it says Spectrum, um, like X Disney. So it's a collab between Spectrum, which I think is a makeup brand, but I'm not familiar with it. But I think, I think they sell makeup brushes because at the same stall, I think there was some um, similar bits and a lot of makeup actually at this particular stall. So yeah, I just really like that. And she wanted three pounds for that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, <laughs> but maybe. I think she could be a vibe. Maybe she becomes one of my man bags. What do we think? Just carry it like that. <laughs> I think she's fab. So yeah, we have Ursula for three quid. How nice is that? Look at that detail on there. Really, really cool. I love the um, fabric that's made out of as well. So that's my very random purchase and um, yeah, as I say, I've got no idea what I'm going to do with her. But maybe she will she will join me for an event and I can put food in, especially if it's an event where they don't feed you. <laughs> she can be full of snacks. So next up, same stall, I spotted this. Another um, makeup pouch or cosmetics bag. Oh, it says beauty pouch. This is from Marks and Spencers. I'm actually going to pop this away as a gift for somebody. And yeah, it's brand new with the little bees on it from m &S. It's just got the price ripped off there. And yeah, how nice is that with the little embroidered bees all over it? And that was two pounds. And I got it home and there was actually, are they in here or have I moved them? There was a pair of earrings. Oh, there we are. In amongst all the um, paper. So yeah, I don't know if the seller was aware of that, but there was actually a pair of earrings in here too and they're from Marks and Spencers as well so yeah I'll probably give those it's a little gift for somebody as well those are £8.50 originally quite nice aren't they so yeah that's a little thing to stash away with my gifts and then I picked up this another little gift idea I thought this was absolutely beautiful and this was £1 so somebody had a little sometimes at the boot sellers like everything's laid out and they have little sections of stuff and it says 50p one pound, two pound, three pound. And this was in the one pound section. And this is a Sophie Allport bone, fine bone china mug. And it's got this really nice gardening design on it. I was going to poke my <laughs> camera um, to get it into focus. Does it work like that? I'm using my phone for this. I'm just doing a quick cheeky vlog for you today. And um, I'm using my camera to vlog renovation stuff and uh, I was getting confused. So I just thought I'll do it on here for you just so it's done and I can edit, edit on my phone then. Um, but yeah, one pound for that. And I thought that was a really good price. And it's got this lovely little detail of um, gardening supplies and vegetables and herbs at the bottom there and a lot of wellies. So yeah, I thought that was really sweet. A great price for one pound picked up um, some of her mugs before and they're lovely. So next up we have, um, where do we go next? Do we go, yeah, let's show you this candle next. So this was another bargain. This is a Kath Kidston candle. This one is Cassis and Rose. Again, it's brand new. It hasn't been lit as you can see. 
to show you the packaging. This smells delightful. Really, really nice. It's got that really kind of nice summery fresh fragrance. And yeah, that was a pound. And it's got the price on the base there, 10 pounds. And it's just in a really nice little container. So I've been really lucky with the candles recently at the boot sale. The one that I got last time was really nice as well. That video's up on my channel. Um, I also picked up, I forgot what this is. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is so random. So, so random. We have a little jar and in here we have lots of jewellery. So I was fishing through these little earrings with it in mind that, you know, on my tap, if you've been watching the renovation vlogs, it's got that little hot cold thing that's made out of plastic and I wanted like a little pin to go in there or something. And I was just fishing through these earrings. So I thought something like this, oh, this is super bling, but it might work. Could just go in there instead and replace that pin. So yeah, I was just sort of fishing through it and there's all different bits in here. There's some other earrings and stuff, as you can see, but they're all kind of odds and ends. There's another one here. And she said, oh, you can just have that pot full of them for a pound if you want. So I said, oh yes, please, because then I can just go through it all. And any bits that I don't use, I can re-donate. There's some brand new ones in here. I think we've got some little birdies. We've got, <laughs> what else have we got? Well, these are quite old little pearl ones and a little arrow. So yeah, there's quite a few ones in there. Um, so I'll just pull out the one I need for the tap and then the rest can get passed on. Then we have this little <laughs> goo, goo pot, glass one. I've actually got um, some new lids for these. So yeah, I'll probably use that and um, they can be quite nice little storage containers, can't they? So yes, very pleased with my random <laughs> selection of earrings, although I only need like a tiny little thing for that tap and then yeah, the rest can be passed on. So on to a couple of fashion bits. I bought this jacket, it needs a good steam, but it's this linen jacket and I tried it on, it fits really nicely. And the chap selling it, I think it was his dad, it was like a um, son and his dad. And he was like, dad, how much for your jacket? And the chap said three pounds, which I thought was pretty good going. Now the brand on here, it says men's clothing here and it says three type, three three XL, which it definitely isn't, but then, it says here, H&M and RP. So yeah, I think this is H&M from overseas. And yeah, it's just a nice linen jacket. And I tried it on and it fitted me really nicely. It's a bit kind of creased at the moment, so it's hard to show you how it looks on. But yeah, it does fit really well. So yeah, I just need to give that a good steam. And I think that will come on holiday with me. Again, a nice piece for summer and I could make this quite casual with maybe some linen trousers and just like a white tee underneath I think or you could maybe wear it out in the evening as well maybe with some like navy blue trousers couldn't you and some nice smart shoes I think that look really nice so that was a bargain for three pounds and then I picked up this jacket which I just thought looked so cool the seller I'm um, selling this was kind of like it was more of a curated stall where they've got kind of like vintagey fashion, vintagey homeware, a bit more kind of stylized, and maybe she was like a pro seller, I'm not sure. So I asked her how much for this jacket anyway. I really like the look of it. And she said 20, which isn't bad for a denim jacket, but it's quite a lot for the boot sale. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, it's quite a lot. And I was like, what's the best price on that? And she was like, well, what do you want to pay for it? And I was like, hmm, tenner? <laughs> she was like, no. Um, yeah, as I said, I think she was more of a light pro seller. So she said 18, which I thought was all right, actually, for this. And I really like the fit on, of this and the um, style. It's kind of like this bleached, washed denim. And yeah, I just thought that'd be quite good. And um, it's by Weekday as well, which is a good make, isn't it? I think Weekday jackets are quite expensive. I haven't actually bought one before, but... Yeah, I think they're normally quite pricey. So I thought that was good. That's a size L. It smells nice. I love it when you get something <laughs> that smells nice. It smells of really nice laundry detergent. So there we go. Next up, I was having a rummage looking at these tea towels. And the lady said, you can have those if you like. So I watched your YouTube channel, which was so sweet. 
and I had a chat to her. It's Helen. Hello, Helen, if you are watching this and thank you so much for the tea towels. So we were having a little chat. I was also looking at these that um, Helen was selling and Helen was telling me, I think she's a, is it a reseller? I think she sells a lot of stuff on eBay as well, but she had quite a lot of the old command hooks. And these ones I thought would be really good for Christmas time. These ones, sorry. These are like, you can put lights in them, like fairy lights. You get loads in a pack. And then I picked up some of these ones. Got two of those. Are they the same? Yeah, these are for kind of, um, they've got them with fairy lights on again. So they're kind of like little hooky things so you can pop like the cord into them. But they're clear plastic. So I thought also for things like um, cabling to the TV, um, anything like that, quite useful for maybe areas in the kitchen that you know sometimes you have a cable where you just want to like tuck it out of the way and these were three for a fiver which is a good price for the command brand because these are really expensive aren't they if you buy them individually in the DIY shop so I bought those and then yeah we were having a chat about different car boot sales she's actually recommended another one for me to go to in Crystal Palace which I've never been to before so I think me and Luke are gonna head down to that one and have a little day out there and go to the boot sale. And I think we'll probably go to the antique center there as well. So they've got a really nice antique center on like three levels that I've been to years ago, but I haven't been to that for ages. And um, yeah, Luke said he hadn't been to Crystal Palace for ages. So I think we'll do that. And yeah, I said, oh, thank you so much for the tea towels. I said, oh, there's two in here. So I'll give one to Luke. <laughs> and she said she loves watching Luke's channel as well. But these are gorgeous, aren't they? So yeah, these were priced um, at a five, but they're brand new. And yeah, one of these will be going to Luke. And I know that he will love these for his like food styling, his food photography, as well as using them, of course. And then Helen's son very kindly gave me a couple of pens as well. One for me and one for Luke, which was so lovely. So yeah, thank you very much <laughs> for those. Absolutely love them. These are posh pens, aren't they? They had quite a few of these. I don't know whether they'd bought a job lot or something. So I need to give this and the tea towel to Luke when I see him. I meant to do it the other day, but I forgot when we went down to Ikea. So yeah, those will be on the way to Luke. And yeah, big thank you to Helen and your son if you're watching this. And then I got, what's this? Oh yeah, this is good. I spotted this little Pandora charm at a another stall. And I know somebody who absolutely loves their Pandora charm. So I thought this could make a really nice little gift. And yeah, it's a really nice one. If you can see, it's got quite a lot of detail on there. And that was three pounds, which is a really good price for one of these. And it's got kind of like little moons and stars on it. Can you see that? It's quite tricky to show you, like little cutout detail. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that in my little presents stash <laughs> as well. And then there was a chap selling a lot of like brass bits and pieces. And I was having a little rummage and I asked him how much for all the bits and pieces. And I think he said maybe a pound for this, which it doesn't have the thing, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have the bit that it goes into. So I was like, oh. I was hoping you'd say like 10p for anything you want because it's all kind of like a bit rusty. And I don't know, like sometimes at the boot sale, it's hard to like value things. But yeah, in my head boot sale money, these are like 10p each, not a pound. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. I need something like this for a window. And also this, these catches can be really handy for keeping windows open um, and things like that, or keeping doors like open and, and pegged back and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit worse for wear, but if it's going outdoors anyway, I thought I'd get that and it, I got them like the two for a pound. So <laughs> it's worth a go. But yeah, sometimes the pricing in the boot sale, I don't know, it can be tricky to know what things are worth and if they're worth much, if they're worth not very much. And yeah, always worth a little haggle. That is the fun of the boot sale, I think. So yeah, there we go. That is everything that I picked up this week. So let me know which item is your favorite. I'm just looking around because um, I want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. But yeah, that is all the bits that I got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Lots more videos are on the way for you. And I will be back to the boot sale very soon or maybe back to the, um, the one in Crystal Palace, actually. So maybe we'll be going to a different one 
next time we head to the boot sale here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm Mr. Carrington over there. And yeah, let me know in the comments which item is your favourite and have you been to the boot sale since they started back and have you found any bargains recently? Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you soon. Bye.